Capricorns, so this is your monthly reading. I'm going to be starting with um, the tarot. I'm going to be doing the spread that I use YouTube for weekly. I'm going to apply for work this month. So let's start with the tarot. You see what's going on. So this card, I want to come out judgment, another chance, or someone want another chance with you. Let's see what else. So universe, what's going to be the current energy between Capricorns and the person that will be in Capricorn mind for February 2023? Universe, what's going to be the current energy? Four of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. Taking your time. Taking your time with something. Please excuse two noise. <laughs> First is raining and you can hear it so loud. And then my cat. <laughs> so universe, the person that will be on Capricorn mind. What would this person like to say to Capricorn in February 2023? Universe, the first time we be on Capricorn mind, Ten of Wands. Okay, so I feel like they're going to finally be confessing. I'm going to see what they're going to be confessing. Ten of Wands, it's like a burden type of energy, but this is also like come, like almost at the finish line, but I also see it as a confession because he looked like this person don't, like look kind of embarrassed. So I feel like this person probably didn't want to admit this. Or um, probably was just a lot to express that, okay? Let's see what else I'm getting. Universe, the person that will be on Capricorn mind. What will this person keep hidden from Capricorn in February 2023? Okay, two swords, world in reverse. Okay, this could be someone from your past. I'm going to read it both ways. This could be someone from your past who... You've been let go of this person, but they haven't let go of you, and they're gonna make a confession with that. Okay, like you're still on their mind, you still have feelings for you, they still love you. Basically, um, another way this can go is that probably they was dealing with someone from their past too. Okay, let's see. Universe, the person that will be on Capricorn mind. How will this person feel about Capricorn in February 2023? Universe, the person that will be on Capricorn mind. How will this person feel about Capricorn? The Death card. Okay. Yeah, so this is picking up on an X, okay? So they do feel like you have moved on, but they suck. <laughs> and I feel like with them, they might send you a message where it's like they're going to say, oh, they know that you move on and you're happier without them. Um, and they probably was, I feel like it's more like admitting where they went wrong. Probably in the past they didn't do that, but they're going to do that, okay? Um, universe, the person that will be on Capricorn mind was this person's true feelings for Capricorn um, in for February 2023. Universe, the person that will be on Capricorn mind was this person's true feelings for Capricorn. Seven of Pentacles and the Temperance. Yeah, they still have a feeling. They feel like now this might have been someone who was acting like they was not super invested. But they were, but I feel like now, like they, it's weird. Like ever since the breakup, they got more invested. Okay, so this could be someone who don't appreciate when they appreciate stuff, things in a person when they have them. Okay, they appreciate it when it's out of reach when they don't have that anymore. Okay, universe, the person that will be on Capricorn mind. What is this person's intentions with Capricorn? I got a sun horizontally i would say it's more facing reverse so i feel like there is i said intuition <laughs> their intention it's more to more try to feel what you're going through because it's like they know that it's over but they want to like clarify if you feel like it's completely done too okay universe the person that will be on capricorn mind what action will this person take with capricorn for February 2023. Okay. So there is a judgment. The Empress. They want. Yeah. So they still want you. They still going to be waiting. Even though they know it's over. Okay. 
Jenna energy is a devil. I feel like this person is going through stuff right now. Probably they're going through depression. Um, they're going through things. And I feel like they are looking back in the past. And they regret not really prioritizing this relationship or giving it their all. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. So what you can expect in the month of February is them finally confessing, admitting to whatever they're going to admit to. Either the truth, their wrongdoings, or like how they still have feelings for you. Okay. So this person signed. Could be a fellow Capricorn, could be another Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, um, could be a Leo, Aquarius, Sag, Scorpio. You got almost all signs. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, this card wouldn't come through. I got two cards. Universe, give me one more card. I'm also going to be doing career finance spread and what you need to know. I'm single spread as well. Okay, so Universe, give me a I need two more cards. What messages do you have for Capricorn? Okay. So first position, there is vase, a secret admirer, boot. Um, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. So I feel like there's someone who is crushing on you. Probably didn't probably was not aware of it, but I feel like now they're gonna be be more flirtatious or try to be initiative with like taking you out. Then there's hammock, um, taking vacation physically or mentally, ladder, climbing towards success. And then there is ram, a sudden aggressive person, older woman, dealing relationship with an older woman. <laughs> okay. So I feel like you guys are really on it when it comes to your career. But there's going to be someone who see you as a threat or see you as competition. And they might be with that like really hostile type of energy. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry. So angel, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. Then there's dark woman, I mean dark man, um, dealing or relationship with the man with dark complexion or hair. Okay, so yeah, I feel like it's it could be either or. It could be a feminine energy or a masculine. It's going to come with that weird type of hostile, highly competitive energy towards you because they see that you're on it and people are noticing your work, you know. So just be aware of that. Okay, so let's look at what you need to know. Okay, so universe, give me a four card spread. What does Capricorn need to know for February 2023? Universe, okay. Universe, give me one more card. What does Capricorn need to know for February 2023? Okay, so Jenna energy is the truth. And I was getting that with the tarot with the Ten of Wands being there, like confession, something like that. And then there is water. Again, about feelings. Stay focused on where you started. I don't feel like you're really going to be... I don't feel like this is going to trigger feelings for you, really. Because I feel like this is something that you've been let go and have peace with, okay? Then there is trust your intuition, Gemini. You have the message to speak your truth. Some of you guys may feel like they're not being really genuine too. Not all of you guys. I think some of you guys know that this person is coming from a sincere part. But for some Capricorns, you probably was dealing with someone who's very manipulative, um, especially emotionally. So you probably feel like this is someone who's not really being genuine. They're just trying to see if they can like um, manipulate you through them being very emotional. Okay. Then there's a two of cups. That's what I'm seeing. So some of you guys was dealing with someone who just was not wearing their heart to sleep and not prioritizing, but this time they are being genuine with their feelings. And then some of you guys are just dealing with like a very mischievous type of person. Okay. So 
let's look at the capital bag. And then after that, I'm going to do another spread with career finance. Okay. So, universe, give me a big card spread. What does Capricorn need to know for February 2023? Okay. Universe, what does Capricorn need to know? Universe, give me two more cards. Universe, give me one more card. Okay, so this false person, well, this is your concern, lovers and courtship. So, I feel like this is probably applying for Capricorn to our single and you're dating um you're not exclusive with anyone you're just dating um just be careful of people not like not being who they say they are so they're trying to say like just get a tea you know do some background check <laughs> okay um look through their social media and see what's really good okay that's what i'm seeing because probably there's someone who talked good game but they with the bs and it seems talking about a lot about finances, so it could be like with work. So, um, yeah, it could be with work. So, this person probably is lying about what they're doing or lying about how much they make, something like that. Okay, so let's look at career finances. Okay, so universe, give me a three card spread. What's going to happen with Capricorn career finances for February 2023? Universe is going to happen. Okay, so Jenna Energy's child, there's a fish person, so it's talking about a little bit of finance too. Um, a fish person, privilege lady, and then pathway adjudication. So I'm gonna start with the top row. Again, with your work, I do see, like, you are, like, feeling like some of you guys just got into a new position, but it's now you're feeling comfortable. Like, now you get the rhythm of, like, what's supposed to do, what's the daily routine and all that. Um, and I feel like this is a position that's paying you really well. Again, now you do, you may have someone, again, who see you as a threat or may feel like you don't deserve that. But we're trying to say don't get too caught up with this person. Don't, like, just know that this person is just jealous okay and they're trying to say make sure when you are connecting or being acquainted with your coworkers, it's actually people that genuinely like like you they don't have like weird type of energy even if you have to work with these people just keep it like conversation like minimum <laughs> like don't um because you know how sometimes at work you feel like you need to be like more closer to people just you know but if you can set the energies off just do what's necessary with this person but like don't overextend basically okay now when it comes to finances there is child okay so what i'm getting here is probably if you guys have um children or a child um and you was like the primary caregiver i feel like finally this person is going to be stepping up a way more financially that's what i'm seeing so this is gonna make you feel like you can like save more do more for yourself, okay? That's that's what I'm getting too. This could be with child support. So let's look at the singles. Okay, so universe, give me a four card spread. What's going towards seeing couple points when it comes to their love life? Okay, I got exactly four. Okay. Okay, so a lot of you guys for the single um, Capricorns are your signs coming towards you, particularly us Aries or Leo. There's Virgo too. So you might have three people energy that's coming your way. Um, one person is like you guys have very strong, intense um, chemistry. Um, then the second one, this is someone like you feel like is very wise. However, you may feel like it's not as strong. But you feel like this connection can go somewhere. It just not like you feel like you're not as how can I say? Yeah, I would just say attractive. You like you're attracted to this person, but you, like the other person's like there's more like sparks. Okay, 
then there's codependency and then there is a virgo and then there's another person that you feel like is very boring okay it doesn't sing so i feel like what you're trying to say is i feel like what you're trying to say is make sure like the people that you're connecting with is not based on just lust or just in the moment okay and also just see if you guys have like if you guys are actually compatible but also you see a future with this person too okay universe clarify the sun universe clarify the sun the star yeah oh that's so good universe clarify the star the, ooh. okay okay that looked good so what are you trying to say don't get distracted don't get distracted by like an intense connection right away okay don't get distracted you're trying to say you have someone that means well um they're very wise they're very responsible they're commitment warranted they're like the emperor or the empress um and they're trying to say like you know make sure you giving everybody equal opportunity but if you feel like there's someone that you're not compatible with don't like don't feel like you need to like continue to date this person okay so but don't get don't get caught up with someone else where it feel familiar or it just very intense okay so let's look at um the oracle So, universe, give me one card. What message do you have for Capricorn? All right. So, universe, give me one card. What message do you have for Capricorns for February 2023? So, there is truth to be told. Again, I was been seeing that with the tarot, with the ten of wands. So, they just confessing and message in the bottle. That's what's going on. <laughs> so, that's the reading that I have for you, Capricorn. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a personal reading with, reading with me at queen for the tarot at gmail.com.